fired up. This motivational moment brought to you by Kalen Home Furnishings and Country Inn and Suites. Welcome back. Motivational moments. Want to take you through the next couple episodes through uh, an article that I came across uh, several uh, days ago. And I really loved it. It says so many good things. Uh, Amy Morin wrote the article, but I'm trying to add a few different things to this topic and it filled in, but she gets to have credit with a lot of these things. But I think it really hits home with coaches and staff members and directors and managers and and those who are in charge of teams and trying to, to mentor and impact young people, but it goes like this a little bit. It talks about these are things that uh, mentally strong people, they, they just don't do. And I'd like to take you through some of those and add a few myself and just have a great uh, discussion regarding that. The first one, mentally strong people, they don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. Have you ever seen somebody put on the old oh, pity me, I'm feeling sorry, you picked on me? It, it's not a good way to handle um, someone coaching you up. You know, I remember in my college days of, uh, you know, I didn't get a chance to play as much in a freshman. I said, I'll show coach a little. I went down on the end of that bench and I was sulking all the time. And I remember my coach bringing me in his office. I'm going to tell you one thing, Steve, if you're ever going to play for us, you're going to have some thick skin and you're going to earn it in practice. Sitting around feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to get it. Get it. So uh, at the end of the day, I think mentally strong people, they, they don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. Life's treated me bad. You know, I've got a bad break. This stuff never happens to me. You know, they're able to move on and uh, put it in perspective. So I think that's a great one there. Mentally strong people, they just don't do that.